Hi, on today's Crochet Corner, we're going to talk about adding an extra dimension to your afghan projects by using textured stitches and flowers for a floral motif. Uh, this first afghan is worked in squares that are then joined together to make the size of the afghan. And in the center of each square, it, with textured stitches, we make this beautiful flower uh, bouquet. I'm going to show you how to make this particular stitch here, which is called a bobble stitch. We're using a worsted weight yarn that's 100% uh, acrylic. It's a wonderful yarn to use for, um, for a durable project like an afghan that needs to go in the washer and dryer. Let's uh, go to our swatch here, and I'll show you how to make the bobble stitch. We work it on the wrong side of the fabric, and so you can't see it while I'm working it, but when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. It's worked on a single crochet background, and here's the bobble stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, uh, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up, pull through two, and then repeat it one more time, insert your hook, yarn pull through two and then when you have four loops on the hook you yarn over and pull through all four loops. We're going to chain one to tighten and then you single crochet to go back to your regular stitch for the row and then if you look on the other side it pops out and that's the bobble stitch. The other afghan I'd like to show you today is this one and it's uh, worked in strips without the floral motif and you make these beautiful flowers and leaves and then attach them with an, just a simple tapestry needle and yarn at the end to make this beautiful applique. Uh, what I'd like to show you is how to make the, uh, how to work two of the rows of the flower because it is a little bit different than how you normally work into stitches in the fact that you're working one row behind the flower to then work the following row into that uh, section to show this depth. See how it, you, each of these flowers is a different, uh, is a different dimension. Um, this yarn is a medium weight acrylic yarn, which again is wonderful for afghans because it's machine washable and dryable and it's really soft. So I started this first row, the fifth row here around, which uh, what you do is you chain five and then you find the middle point in the flower on the previous round. And what you're going to do is insert your hook back to front through those stitches to work into the chain from the row below that. And so back to front and then down under that chain. So now we flipped it over and we're on the back side. Pull up a loop, pull through two for a single crochet. And we're going to chain five and I'll show you that one more time. And then we go to the next flower here and you find your middle point. And the pattern will explain that to you. It explains to you which, which stitches to look for the middle point. And we're going to insert from back to front, go through, pull up a loop, and pull through two. Now these chains that I'm creating on the back side, on the following round, you're going to work your next set of petals for, and they'll just show up behind and offset this row of petals. And all of that is really well explained in the patterns and you can find that on the website. That's today's Crochet Corner. Knitting Daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for free access to all of the project instructions, ideas, tips, and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily.